Welcome to We On Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we discover when Voyager 1 will fall silent forever and the remarkable plans NASA has for its final chapter in space. Voyager 1 has been answering questions from the edge of interstellar space for 47 years, but its operational life is finite. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory are now managing a carefully prioritized plan of power conservation, instrument shutdowns, and occasional high-risk fixes to keep the probe sending data for as long as possible. The question is not if it will go silent, but when, and the agency expects to squeeze useful science out of the spacecraft into the early 2030s if systems hold. Launched on 5th of September 1977, Voyager 1's original brief was to visit the outer planets. It returned the first close images and detailed data of Jupiter and Saturn, revealed new moons and ring structure, and then headed outward to become the most distant human-made object. Those early discoveries established Voyager as one of the most successful exploratory missions in history. In August 2012, the cosmic traveler crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind gives way to the interstellar medium, the first time any craft had sampled that interface directly. The transition was identified by sudden changes recorded by the spacecraft's plasma wave instrument, confirming that Voyager was measuring the space between the stars. As of mid-2025, NASA's probe is roughly 166 to 167 astronomical units from Earth, more than 24 billion kilometers, and receding at several kilometers per second. At that distance, a one-way radio transmission takes about 23 hours, so every data packet and command is subject to nearly two days of round-trip delay. Real-time control is impossible. Every contact requires careful planning and patience. Communication depends on Voyager's 3.7-meter high-gain antenna, transmitting narrow, low-power X-band radio signals. Those signals are captured by NASA's Deep Space Network, three arrays of huge dishes in California, Spain, and Australia, which amplify and decode the faint transmissions. The probe transmits slowly and in short bursts, storing data on board and sending it in low-rate streams that the DSN reconstructs into usable science and engineering telemetry. Voyager's electricity comes from radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs, that lose a few watts each year. To preserve power, mission teams have repeatedly switched off heaters and non-essential instruments. In late 2024 and early 2025, NASA powered down additional science experiments. Engineers have also performed daring workarounds, most recently reviving long-dormant thrusters, to ensure Voyager can keep its antenna pointed and maintain communication. These measures extend life but cannot stop the inevitable decay. NASA's stated approach is pragmatic. Retire instruments in stages to conserve power so that at least one meaningful instrument remains functional into the 2030s. No firm switch-off date exists. Silence will come when the RTGs can no longer power the transmitter or when a critical subsystem fails irretrievably. Until then, the probe will keep sending its faint but invaluable reports from interstellar space, a controlled wind-down of a mission that has already redefined human reach into the cosmos. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.